In this video, I want to explain how Spring Boot 3.0.0 works with HTTP interfaces and web clients. We continue in this section with the code from the previous video on problem details. I want to briefly go over beforehand what the purpose of this video is. We are going to extend our project with a to-do API. The list of to-dos will not be created by ourselves, but loaded from the JSON placeholder website. Loading the list of to-dos we are going to do with the new HTTP interfaces and the web client. As you can see, the JSON placeholder has several features and it is completely free. Back in Eclipse. First of all, we need to add the starter WebFlux dependency in the Maven POM XML file. Then we can create a record with the fields we need from the todos. Here we use user ID, ID, title, and completed. Now we come to the two classes that are important to load the todos from the website. We have the todo client interface. With the HTTP exchange annotation, here you configure the URL of the website or API, which is valid for all methods. Then we have two methods. Get todos returns the list of all todos. With the get exchange annotation and the path on which the API is available, get todo returns the todo with the given ID. Again, a get exchange annotation and the path where the API is available. Then we go to the second class. This is the configuration where we configure the bean of type HTTP service proxy factory. All other classes are default classes which we can go over briefly. In the to-do controller class we have two methods. A get to do's which returns a list of to-do's. And the get to do which returns one to-do. Note the to-do client exception where we want to use the problem details again. In the exception handler advice, we have a new method where we handle the to-do client exception. And finally, the to-do client exception class we use in the previous class. This is all for the code. We can now start the project and test it. We start in the browser with the welcome page. Then to the to-do page where we get a list of 200 to-dos. Finally, we go to to-do endpoint with an ID. We start with ID 10. Then the ID 100. So far everything is running fine. If we try the ID 1000 we get an error message from the problem details saying that the to-do with this 1000 cannot be found. That's it for today.